Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to post a video on LinkedIn the correct way. So before you actually post a video on LinkedIn, there's a few things you need to know. First of all, how long can a LinkedIn video be? A native LinkedIn video can be anywhere between three seconds to 10 minutes long, but a LinkedIn video ad can be up to 30 minutes long. What's the recommended file size for your video? Your video file size has to be a minimum of 75 kilobytes and a maximum of one gigabyte. What file format does your LinkedIn video have to be? LinkedIn accepts all major file formats. So this means that MP4s, MPEG-1s, MPEG-4s, WebMs, all of these files will be accepted by LinkedIn. What is LinkedIn's video captions format? LinkedIn video captions are uploaded as SRT files, which is a sub -rip subtitle file, which is the most common closed captions format. What is the best video aspect ratio for LinkedIn? So LinkedIn's aspect aspect ratio ranges from 1 by 2.4 to 2.4 by 1. And I've recently just done some testing so I can show you some examples of what I think is the best aspect ratio. So I took the same video and resized it to multiple different aspect ratios using Veed and I posted them to LinkedIn. So if we have a look here, we have the first aspect ratio, which is the LinkedIn landscape, which is the 2.4 by 1. And I uploaded this video and the 2.4 is actually just the video without the blurry bars on the side. LinkedIn adds these in themselves afterwards. Up next, we have the one by 2.4, which is the LinkedIn portrait. Again, my video is originally just this one. And then as we can see, LinkedIn has added some blurriness on the sides to make it a square video. If I scroll up some more, I even tried Instagram's four by five aspect ratio. And as we can see, there's still some blurry bars on the side. So if I scroll up some more, I've got the one by one aspect ratio, which is a square video. And as we can see, this one actually looks pretty good. There's no blurry bars on either side and it takes up a decent amount in the feed. Now, right at the top here, we have the original 16 by nine aspect ratio, which looks pretty clean and it's very useful if you are trying to display a lot of information on your screen. Now, this is on a computer. However, I do want to show you on my phone. So if I open up my phone and I begin screen recording, I'm gonna go through the same videos with my phone on the LinkedIn app. So if I scroll through, as we can see, we've got the first 16 by nine. Then we have the square video, which looks pretty decent. Then we have the four by five video. And this time, as you can see, there's no blurry bars and it hasn't been turned into a square video post. So the four by five aspect ratio works better on a mobile, but not necessarily on desktop. Now, if I scroll down even more, as we can see here, we have the one by 2.4 aspect ratio. And then if I scroll down even more, here we have the 2.4 by one aspect ratio. And this time we have some bars on the top and the bottom. So I do want to make sure that you understand that the viewing experience will depend whether you're watching from desktop or whether you're watching from the mobile app. And now to show you another example, if I'm going back on LinkedIn, here we have a 16 by nine video. If I scroll down and more, a 16 by nine video. And as we can see, it doesn't take up a lot of space in the actual feed. And I do want to mention really Real quick this is an embedded video this means that it's just a youtube link in a post but now if i scroll down even more all of a sudden we have this square video the one by one aspect ratio and as you can see we notice it a lot more because it takes up a lot more space in the feed. If I'm scrolling past quickly, right? As you can see, I can scroll reasonably fast past this 16 by nine video. But if I scroll down, this one takes up more of my feed and I'm more likely to stop and consume the video to watch it and engage with it. Now that you understand the aspect ratios and you can determine which one you think is best for you, how do you actually post a LinkedIn video? Well, first we need to make sure that our video is the correct aspect ratio. And because I'm going to be optimizing our video for LinkedIn on mobile and desktop, I'm going to make my video square. So to make my video square, the tool I'm gonna to be using is called Veed. If you want to use Veed, you can either head over to Google and Google Veed, which is V-E-E-D, and then click on the first link. If not, I'm gonna be putting the links in the description as usual. Once you're on Veed, so I've uploaded my video here. As you can see, if I click play, hey everyone, Alec here with Veed. As you can see, I have my video. And so to make it square, all we have to do is go to this drop down menu right here, and we're going to click on the square one by one aspect ratio. And now, as we can see, we have my video. However, I want to add a title, so what I'm going to do is click and drag this down so leave a bit of the space at the top then I'm going to click on the text tab and I'm just going to quickly add something which is clickbaity just so you get the idea if I add watch this we're going to change the color to white I'm going to change the layout to center and then the font to Anton I can click a drag on the canvas to resize it and I'm just going to make it so it's the width of the video canvas I'll just put this in the center and I'm going to bring my video up to the top again I'm going to select it and move it to the center, there we go, now it's in the middle. 
like this. I resize it. And what I'm going to do is potentially change the background color and make it a similar color to LinkedIn. Or let's just choose blue or this color here. You get the idea. You can choose whichever one you want. You want one that stands out. So I'm just going to leave it with this one right now. And now what we're going to do is we're actually going to be creating these subtitles so we can download them as an SRT file to then upload them with our video to LinkedIn. So to do this, we head over to the subtitle tab on the left, and then we're going to be using the auto subtitle tool. And what this does is it basically automatically transcribes all of the audio from our video into text and turns this text into subtitles. So here we need to select the language that we are talking in. Obviously, we are speaking in English, so I select English from the drop down menu, and then we click on start. And depending on how long your video is, this can take anywhere between a few seconds to a few minutes. Now, as we can see, because this is a short video, it's just finished. So if I click play from the beginning, Everyone, Alec here with Veed. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to permanently add subtitles to your videos, just like these ones. Now, as you probably saw, all the subtitles are good, except the first one, because I talk fast. So I say, hey, everyone, to correct it, all you have to do is just click on the box and then edit it as if it was some normal text. It often makes a mistake on my name. So I'm called Alec and then Veed right here. We're going to change that as well. Perfect. Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed and in this video, okay. And then if you're not happy with the timings, you can also change the timings of each subtitle. For an example, if I wanted this to end here on the timeline, I could place the playhead here and then click on the end stopwatch for that subtitle, or you can manually input it using the keyboard and changing it here. So let's say I want to end at two seconds. I just put 2.0, enter, and there you go. If not, you can also click and drag on the timeline. So once we've done that, now I'm happy with my video. The styling of our captions isn't going to matter because it's an SRT file. So LinkedIn will use its own styling for the captions that they have. Once we're happy with our subtitles, what we're going to do is actually go into the options tab and click on download SRT. And now as we can see, our subtitles have been downloaded as an SRT file. And then now what I'm going to do is actually delete all of these subtitles and then download the video because I don't want the captions present on the screen due to the fact that we're going to be using LinkedIn's closed captions. Once your video has finished rendering, as we can see here, we now have the download button. So if I click on the download button, I've now also downloaded my video. I did forget to name the project, but that's not too important. Okay, so now on my desktop, I have my video that has been formatted with the one by one aspect ratio and my text and its title. And we also have the project SRT file. So now if I head over to LinkedIn, what I'm going to do is actually click on video. And here I'm going to go into my downloads and then find my video. So this is the video that I've just created in Veed. If I click on that and click open. Now, once I've done this, once I've uploaded it, what I'm going to do is click on the edit button here. And this is going to allow us to add an SRT file. So if we do video captions, click on select caption, and then we actually select our SRT file from our downloads folder that we just downloaded from V. Now, if I click open, as we can see, it's been uploaded. And then if I click done, now I need to add my caption. So I'm going to put something very quick, like please watch this video. Obviously you want to put a better caption than this, but this is just to save time. As we can see, if I click play, Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed. And in this video, I'm going my video is there. So if I click post now, now it's uploading to LinkedIn. And then once it's finished uploading, I should be able to play the video and switch on and off the closed captions. So as we can see, my video is now here. And as we can see, we also have the closed captions, which are automatically playing, which is great. And if I want to, I can go ahead and just switch and this them video, off. I'm going to be showing you how to just like that. add subtitles to your and that is how to post to LinkedIn the correct way with closed captions. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this about LinkedIn, social media and video marketing, please hit that subscribe button. With that being said, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.